I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. They're all shined up, ready to go. Ready for the big test. Okay, this has held air all night. It hasn't leaked down at all. By the time I can spin that valve cut, by the time I can spin that fitting off the valve, the tire of oh, the tube has bled down. The repair isn't leaking. It looks like it's leaking down to the check valve. Put some lightweight oil down there in the piston. I got a pinhole leak. Right on the end. A little oil in this check valve. See if that'll help it seal up. Yeah, I see my pinhole is staying up, leaking through. So, first, we're going to try a little bit more of the 3M. I know where the leak is, is right on the end. I'll clean that up and we'll put a little more of the 3M on it, and see if that'll take care of it. In the meantime, this thing's working just fine, but there's a flaw with it. 
I need to make something that I can press against it, bump the thing up, and then pull that off quickly. If it takes me more than just a couple of seconds, during that time the Schrader valve is open on the valve stem, and this little thing doesn't hold air at all. I mean, it's never designed to hold air. It's designed to spin on there easily and take it on up. I'm thinking that this little tube doesn't have enough capacity to hold up hold enough air so it can leak down like one or two percent. This on a car tire probably wouldn't leak an appreciable amount of air out of the tire. You could over inflate the tire with it and then quickly spin this off. So I have a little pinhole leak at the end of the slit. Looks like one end of it didn't completely seal up. So when I put enough pressure in it, it leaks. Sitting like this, not enough pressure to open up that little spot so it doesn't leak anything out. It'll stay at this level of inflation quite a long time. The other problem is this little screw-on fitting on the end of the air hose, while I'm unscrewing it, it's leaking because it's not tight against the surface of the Schrader valve in here. It's just leaking air out of there fast as it can go. Now with that little nut tightened down on the valve stem, it holds air pretty good. But when I go to take this off, unless I'm really fast, A good portion of the air leaks out of the tube. A nice bubble if I put pressure on the tube and it's leaking out the end of that slit. Right there. I'm gonna... A little silver pencil works good on a black tire or black tube. So the pump is working. I need to make some kind of a quick release device uh, so that I can just press this up against the valve stem and have it seal up enough that I can pump air in there quickly and have it not bleed back out in the time it takes me to spin this nut off. I think on a car tire there's enough volume of air that you can lose oh maybe a cup's worth of space without having the tube deflate too much but with this little tire it doesn't take much to lose a whole lot of pressure out of it. It's always a percentage of the, of the total. So that's something to do is figure that out. The valve, the check valve, does seem to work. Different things. So, I think this is a process failure. It's not a failure of the product. So let's see what happens. Up. 
wire brush doesn't work at all. clean. spritz with some 90% isopropyl alcohol. Something I didn't do the first time, which probably would have been a good idea. Take some of this 3M cement. And apply it to the tube. If I can get the cap off, that might be problematic. This stuff sticks to everything. I think I have put the kibosh on the 3M cement because I'm going to have to break this tube. I managed to get it come loose.
And this time I'm going to take the sucker stick and spread it around, not my finger. Bleed off the air out of the out of the tube. Make sure I don't have any pressure on that. While the glue sets. There. Okay, job's done for tonight. Well, Well, the pump is done, and I have another layer of 3M cement on this. It did work. It, it worked. It didn't work quite as well as I wanted it to because of a mistake on my part. I didn't clean the thing before I did it. Very good chance that's what caused the problem. We'll have to see if putting another layer on the outside is effective or not, but we'll see. I have to give it 24 hours to set. So probably not until, let's see, this is Wednesday, so late Thursday I'll look at it again, and then Friday we'll have an update. Well, I have to report a failure on the tube. Minor. I mean, just just minor. <clears throat> when I had the tire pump fixed up so that it would create enough pressure, it showed a little pinhole leak on one end of the split. And I think that was a mistake on my part. I didn't have the part cleaned enough for the 3M to bond well. So I cleaned it up, put another coat on it, Sometime Thursday night, I'll get a chance to check it again, and then I'll report on the result Friday. In the meantime, if you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or the legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.